हेलो बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स एक मिनट आया जरा मैं असलम मेरे मुसलमान बहन और भाई आपको मेरी तरफ से रमज़ान मुबारक उम्मीद करता हूँ कि ये रमज़ान आपका काफ़ी अच्छा गुजर रहा होगा इसी सबर तमीज़ और तहमल के साथ आज की वीडियो हम शुरू करते हैं ओ भाई और मेरी टोपी ऐसा लग रहा है पॉपकॉर्न फट गया मेरे साथ है काफ़ी दिनों बाद मुलाकात हो रही है नौ दिन ही हुए बस नौ दिन बस कुछ नहीं याद किया होगा मुझे खैर आज की जो वीडियो वो है ट्राई नॉट टू क्रेव चैलेंज ये वीडियो मैंने पिछले रमज़ान की थी जिस पे काफ़ी अच्छा रिस्पांस आया था तो आई थॉट के वाई नॉट पार्ट टू बनाए इसका Let's make the viral accordion potatoes oh because they God. are mom. Alu kamzori hai bhai apne alu kamzori. Potatoes into rectangles. Then use the chopsticks to cut them diagonally and horizontally. Now boil your potatoes with baking soda and salt Love for three minutes. Season with olive oil, garlic, paprika and salt. A sprinkle of chili and pepper and bake in the oven for 30 minutes or until God. super sexy. <laughs> Super sexy. Let's make my cream. Oh my God, pasta. pasta because it's super sexy. First of all, yes, grate your garlic that. like there is no tomorrow. Then season it with olive like oil and no butter tomorrow. for a couple of minutes. Now add white wine and heavy you cream and season like for eight bandha. more minutes. Finally, add your pasta in and a sprinkle of parsley and parmigiano to make it. Sustained. <laughs> Sustained guys. Have you ever made fried Nutella? It's easy, quick and so oh sexy. Simply the scoop out the Nutella on a plate and freeze it for a couple of hours. Now get very <laughs> angry <laughs> with your <laughs> cornflakes. Oh Cover your Nutella so with flour, egg, your poor cornflakes and fry for a couple of minutes or until mamma mia. Mamma mia. <laughs> to try my gnocchi mac and cheese because they are mom first of all melt some butter in a casserole add flour milk season with salt and nutmeg add your gruyere and stir until beautiful finally boil your gnocchi until they come up and bake in the oven with more gruyere and parmigiano for about 10 minutes mujhe bas dekh ke itna maza aa raha hai oh my god You have to try my chocolate salame because it's mom. All you have to do is break some biscuits like squeeze like Italian mamma. Now mix together oh the chocolate with butter, coffee, sugar, add some cocoa, your biscuits, biscuits. and flour. Finally, wrap it up and let it in the fridge for a couple of hours or until super sexy. Oh my god. You have to try my This one mera abhi se hi lag gaya. Mujhe nahi pata. Mom. All you have to do is mash your boiled potatoes like there is no Yaar, aloo ka item bahut kamzor hai yaar kamzor hai weak kaise aloo ka item meri ho pinch of salt and paprika finally roll out your dough form some little pillow and fry oh in a lot of oil little pillow super sexy super sexy okay enough with that italian super sexy macarano whatever ab hum thoda sa you know थोड़ा सा एक्सेंट चेंज करते हैं This was my favorite lunchbox meal growing up. It was always tortilla or pita. Deli sliced chicken was always my favorite. Then my mom would hit this with some shawarma spice. We would always have a sandwich with no sauce. The garlic mayo would go in a little mini container so it doesn't get soggy. I'd get these cute mini pickles and some hummus. And if I had this meal, it would literally make my week. It'd be in a cute little box. This fun school lunch is to shed light on food insecurity. Inspired by our new favorite show, Abi Ella. Sponsor Hata. This is a sweet heat fried chicken sandwich. Butter milk and chicken will go in first. If their color don't change, no flavor was gained. Chicken thighs are, and we marinate until we lose patience. Potato starch is simply superior. Same seasonings as earlier. Allow the excess batter to drip into the dry batter. I allow them to rest on a rack for 10 minutes, and when they look like this, go back into the dry batter. Make sure every crevice has some starch. And now we fry at 375. Grass-fed butter so it's healthy. Spices get toasted, and simply add in a whole bottle of Cholula. Kill the heat and just go in with a bunch of honey. We get them lost in the sauce. Onto a toasted brioche. Finish with coleslaw so you don't feel that guilty. And as always, na bismillah. Oh, da bismillah. 
This is my mom's chicken and potato recipe. And you need to try this. To start the marinade, we need some lemon zest. We do an actual handful of garlic, one shallot and a bundle of cilantro, rosemary, thyme, and sage, lots and lots of spices. We're making this for the whole family, so it's a lot. Going with high quality olive oil, add in lots of white vinegar, finish with a load of lemon juice, and then we blend this all up. This marinade will make a flip flop taste good. We drench I down our fries that. and drums, give them a quick massage. I would love for you to marinate until you lose patience, but for this one, go overnight. Potatoes, not too thick, not too thin. Hit them with a little olive oil and the same seasonings as the chicken. We want to grab the marinade of the chicken and put some on the potatoes. Evenly lay out the chicken. I re-season the surface so it looks cute. This whole concoction gets covered. And then we bake this at 375. After 40 minutes on cover, and then we go back into the oven. To go down as a family legend, we saute down some heartburn, add lots of lemon juice, kill the heat, and add fresh cilantro. And I'll just drizzle it over every single piece oh of chicken. Oh my god! This is a mango lassi, and it's just another oh, beautiful lassi, drink you need yeah. to try. If you can find a champagne mango, use it. Just so sweet and concentrated in flavor. Mango pulp also works great for this recipe. Go in with plain yogurt, a little bit of sugar. If you think that's too sweet, just don't add Such the sugar. A hard instead challenge. of trying a splash of milk or water. And then that's I like to use frozen mangoes instead of ice. Man come on, man, come on! I'm literally dying to try this, but I'm still fasting. The simplicity of this drink is what makes it incredible. Is it pecan or pecan? Either way, the salmon is out of this world. In a beautiful pan, toss in some butter. When lightly melted, add brown sugar. Toss in chopped pecans and panko breadcrumbs. And we just want this nutty and toasted. I'm using honey oh Dijon mustard as a binder. Massage. The salmon fully gets seasoned. And we just laid down our cooled pecan mixture. Into the oven at 400. This should take you around 15 minutes. And it should be beautifully crusty like you. And as always, nice <laughs> Crusty food. like me, huh? Crispy, cheesy, and <laughs> Just look how juicy that is. Highly recommend grating down your onion. Make it cry back. To ground beef or lamb, add your dried onion. The parsley is chopped as fine as you. Fresh mashed heartburn, chili paprika, allspice and cumin. And we finish with garlic and salt. We give this a quick oh massage. We want to use a nice and thick pita. Slice in half. And just make a beautiful pocket. Yeah, nice no, you the in the center. Then yeah, fill it with your favorite cheese. And then just seal it up with more meat. It should be around one inch thick. Olive oil into a medium hot pan. Just make sure they're not too hot so you don't burn them from the outside. These are really thick and stuffed with cheese. So after toasting them, you could just finish them off in the oven for a couple minutes. And as always, now bismillah. They caught a quick upgrade what I call the sunrise sunset. And it's gonna impress everybody. Combine frozen mangoes and pineapples. This mixture gets orange juice and we blend. This goes into a beautiful pitcher or cup. The next one is frozen strawberries and a banana. A little bit of lemonade, a splash of grenadine syrup. And now we blend. Lay this on top of the other mixture and just embrace how beautiful that looks. Give it a quick swirly swirl. And as always, now we now. So simple, but. Yes, challenge. challenge. I don't know. I don't know. I